Morning Prayer, Rite 2, begins on page 79 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful, Most merciful God, God, we confess, we confess that we have, have sinned, against, sinned you against you in thought, in thought word, word, and deed and by what we have done, have done and by, by what we have left undone. undone. We have not loved, have not you, loved you with our whole, with heart. whole heart. We have not loved, have not our, loved neighbors our neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We, we are, are truly truth, sorry, sorry, and we humbly, we humbly repent. repent. For the sake, For the of, sake your son, of your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, have mercy, have on, mercy us on us and forgive us, us that we may that delight, we may delight in, your in your will and walk in your ways. Your ways. To the glory, to the glory of, your of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us say the Venite, which is found on page 82 in the Book of Common Prayer. Come, let us sing, let to, us the sing to the Lord. Let us shout, let us for, shout joy for joy to the rock, to the rock of, our of our salvation. Let us come let us before, come his, before presence his presence with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving and raise a loud, a loud shout to, to him, him with psalm. For, for the Lord is a great is God. A great God. And a, great king and a great king above all, above gods. all gods. In his hand, in his hand the caverns, the caverns of, the of the earth and the heights, and the the heights of the hills are his, are his also. also. The sea the is, is his, for he, made, for he it. made it. And his, and hands, his hands have molded, molded the dry, the dry land. land. Come, Come, let us bow, let us down, bow down and bend, and the, bend knee, the knee and kneel, kneel before, before the Lord, Lord our, maker. our Maker. For he for is our God. Our God. And we are, the, we are people the people of his pasture, pasture and, the, and sheep the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today, oh, that today you would hearken, hearken to his, his voice. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 88, which can be found on page 712 in the Book of Common Prayer. We will recite the psalm responsively by half verse. O oh Lord, my God, my Savior. By day and night I cry to you. Let my prayer enter into your presence. Incline your ear to my lamentation. For I am full of trouble. My life is at the brink of the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I have become like one who has no strength. Lost among the dead like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the pit, in dark places and in the abyss. Your anger weighs upon me heavily, and all your great waves overwhelm me. You have put my friends far from me, you have made me to be abhorred by them. I am in prison and cannot get free. My sight has failed me because of trouble. Lord, I have called upon you daily. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will those who have died stand up and give you thanks? Will your loving kindness be declared in the grave? your faithfulness in the land of destruction. Will your wonders be known in the dark? Or your righteousness in the country where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, why have you rejected me? Why have you hidden your face from me? Ever since my youth, I have been wretched and at the point of death. I have borne your terrors with a troubled mind. Your blazing anger has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me all day long like a flood. They encompass me on every side. 
my friend and my neighbor have put away have you have put away from me and darkness is my only companion glory to the father and to the son, the son and to the holy and to the holy spirit, spirit as it was in the beginning, the beginning is now, is now and will, be, and will forever. be forever amen amen a reading from esther on that day king Aserus gave to queen esther the house of haman the enemy of the jews and mordecai came before the king for esther had told what he was to what he was to her then the king took off his signet ring which he had taken from Haman and gave it to Mordecai. So Esther set Mordecai over the house of Haman. Then Esther spoke again to the king. She fell at his feet, weeping and pleading with him to avert the evil design of Haman the Agite and the plot that he had devised against the Jews. The king held out the golden scepter to Esther and Esther rose and stood before the king. She said, if it pleases the king, and if I have won his favor, and if the thing seems right before the king, and I have his approval, let an order be written to revoke the letters devised by Haman, which he wrote, giving orders to destroy the Jews who are in all the provinces of the king. For how can I bear to see the calamity that is coming on my people? Or how can I bear to see the destruction of my kindred? Then King Ahasuerus said to King Esther and to the Jew Mordecai, See, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and they have hanged him on the gallows because he plotted to lay hands on the Jews. You may write as you please with regard to the Jews in the name of the king and seal it with the king's ring, for an edict written in the name of the king and sealed with the king's ring cannot be revoked. Then Mordecai went out from the presence of the king wearing royal robes of blue and white, with a great golden crown and a mantle of fine linen and purple, while the city of Susa shouted and rejoiced. For the, Jew, the Jews there was light and gladness, joy and honor. In every province and in every city, wherever the king's command and his edict came, there was gladness and joy among the Jews, a festival and a holiday. Furthermore, many of the peoples of the country professed to be Jews because the fear of the Jews had fallen upon them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together Canticle 10, which can be found on page 86 in the Book of Common Prayer. Seek the Lord while he wills, while he to, be wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws, when he near. draws near. Let the wicked, Let the wicked forsake, forsake their, ways, their ways and the evil, and the ones, evil ones their thoughts. Their thoughts. And let them let turn, them turn to, the Lord, to the Lord and he will have, he will have compassion. And to our God, to our God for he will for he richly will pardon. pardon. For my for thoughts, my thoughts are, not your are not your thoughts, nor your, nor ways, your ways, my ways, my ways, says, says the Lord. The Lord. For as the heavens, as the heavens are, higher than, are the higher than the earth, so, so are, are my ways, ways higher than your ways, than your ways. And, my thoughts and my thoughts than your, than thoughts. your thoughts. For as rain, as rain and snow fall from fall the heavens, from heavens and return not, and return again, not again, but water the, but earth, water the earth, bringing forth, bringing life, forth life and giving growth, seed for, seed for sowing and bread, and bread for, for eating. eating. So is so my, my word. That goes forth, goes forth from, from my mouth. It will not it will return, not return to, me. to me empty, but it will, it will accomplish, accomplish that which I have, which purposed, I have purposed and prosper, and prosper in, that in that for which I sent it. it. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and to the Son, to the Son and to the Holy, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, is now and will be and forever. Will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Acts. After all this had happened, Paul decided to go to Jerusalem, passing through Macedonia and Achaia. After I have been there, he said, I must visit Rome also. He sent two of his helpers, Timothy and Erastus, to Macedonia while he stayed in the province of Asia a little longer. About that time, there arose a great disturbance about the way. 
a silversmith named Demetrius, who made silver shrines of Artemis, brought in no to little business for his craftsmen. He called them together, along with the workmen in related trades, and said, Men, you know we receive a good income from this business, and you see and hear how this fellow Paul has convinced and led astray large numbers of people here in Ephesus, and in practically the whole province of Asia. He says that man-made gods are no gods at all. There is danger not only that our trade will lose its good name, but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis will be discredited, and the goddess herself, who is worshipped throughout the province of Asia and the world, will be robbed of her divine majesty. When they heard this, they were furious and began shouting, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. Soon the whole city was in an uproar. The people seized Gaius and Aristarchus, Paul's traveling companions for Macedonia, and rushed as one man into the theater. Paul wanted to appear before the crowd, but the disciples would not let him. Even some of the officials of the province, friends of Paul, sent a message begging him not to venture into the theater. The assembly was in confusion. Some were shouting one thing, some another. Most of the people did not even know why they were there. The Jews pushed Alexander to the front, and some of the crowd shouted instructions to him. He motioned for silence in order to make a defense before the people. When they realized he was a Jew, they all shouted in unison for about two hours, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. <clears throat> the city clerk quieted the crowd and said, Men of Ephesus, doesn't all the world know that the city of Ephesus is the guardian of the temple of the great Artemis and of her image, which fell from heaven? Therefore, since these facts are undeniable, you ought to be quiet and do not do anything rash. You have brought these men here, though they have neither robbed temples nor blasphemed our goddess. If then Demetrius and his fellow craftsmen have a grievance against anybody, the courts are open and there are protocols or proconsuls. They can press charges. If there's anything further you want to bring up, it must be settled in a legal assembly. As it is, we are in danger of being charged with rioting because of today's events. In that case, we would not be able to account for this commotion since there is no reason for it. After he said this, he dismissed the assembly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together, Canticle 18, which is found on page 93 in the Book of Common Prayer. Splendor, Splendor and, and honor, honor and kingly and power, power are yours, are by, yours right, by right, O Lord, our, Lord God. our God. For you created, you created everything, everything that, is, that is, and by your, and by will, your will they were created, they were created and have, and their, have being. their being. And yours, and by, yours right, by right, O Lamb, o Lamb that was slain. That was slain. For with your blood, with your blood you, have you have redeemed for God, for God from every family, every family language, language, people, people and, and nation, a, a kingdom, kingdom of, of priests, priests to serve our God. God. And, so, and so, to, to him, him who sits who upon, the, upon the, throne, the throne, and to Christ, and to Christ the Lamb, the Lamb be worship, worship and praise, praise dominion, dominion and, and splendor, splendor forever, forever and forever forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the, Holy, to the Spirit, Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is now, is now and will, be, and will forever. be forever. Amen. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed, which is found on page 96 in the Book of Common Prayer. I believe in God, believe in God the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth. And earth. I, believe I believe in Jesus in Christ, Christ, His only His Son, only Son our, our Lord. He was conceived, he conceived by the power, by the power of, the of the Holy Spirit and born, and born of, the Virgin, of Mary. the Virgin Mary. He suffered, he suffered under, under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, crucified died, died, and was, and was buried. buried. He descended, he descended to, the dead. to the dead. On, On the, the third, third day, day, he rose, rose again. again. He ascended, he ascended to heaven, into heaven and is seated, seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Of the Father. He will come again, come again to judge, judge the living, the living and, and the dead. dead. I believe in the, believe Holy, Spirit, in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, the Holy Catholic Church, Church, the communion, the communion of, saints, of saints, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, sins, the resurrection, resurrection of, the of the body, 
and the life, and the life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray using the words that our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, our Father who art in, who heaven, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be, hallowed thy, be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, will be done on, earth, on earth as, as it, it is, is in heaven. Give us this day, day our daily bread. Daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses, as we forgive, we forgive those, those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not, not to temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from evil. For thine, thine is, the kingdom, is the kingdom, and the power, and the, power and the glory, glory forever, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. We will pray responsively using suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray now for our own needs and those of others. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Merciful God, we entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy, and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit, that through their work, many will be restored to health. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, almighty, who has made all peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace, give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving Spirit may so move the human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us say together the general thanksgiving, which is found on page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, all mercies, 
we, your unworthy we servants, your unworthy servants give, you humble give you humble thanks for all your goodness, all your goodness and, loving kindness and loving kindness to us, to us and to all whom you, who you have made. We bless you, we bless you for our creation, preservation, preservation, and all the blessings, all the blessings of this life. life. But above all, above all, for your immeasurable love, love in the redemption, redemption of, the of the world by our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. For the means of grace, of grace and for the hope, the hope of, glory. of glory. And, and we, pray, we pray, give us give such us an awareness of your, mercies, of your mercies that with truly, with thankful, truly thankful hearts we may show, we may forth, show your forth your praise, your praise not only, with, not our only lips, with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up, giving our up ourselves to your service, your service and by walking, by walking before, you, before you in holiness, in holiness and, righteousness, and righteousness all our days. All our days. Through Jesus Through Christ, Jesus our, Christ Lord, our Lord, to whom, whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor, honor and, and glory, glory throughout, all, throughout ages. all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.